Cham Blue. Samurai Cham Blue. in the midst of a journey, searching for the samurai who smells of sunflowers. Accompanying her on this trip are Mugen and Jean, two samurais who she came across by chance, let's say. And like always, the three of them are off, drifting along, going wherever fate will take them. The time is the Edo period, a time of peace. It is no longer the age of the samurai. In fact, these days, seeing a samurai wandering alone is a pretty unusual sight. Oh, so that's why we're traveling together. Yeah, right. As if. I'm just out looking for blood. They kill assassins, they kill master swordsmen, and they kill ordinary warriors by the dozens. Then they get hungry. They earn some money. They eat some food. Fu gets abducted. And then they kill some more. That was brief. <gasps> how rude! And that's basically how this journey has gone. many, many detours along the way. Mugen, Jean, and Fu zigzag across the archipelago, taking on anyone and everyone in the country who gets in their way. And finally, at long last, they reach their destination of Nagasaki, and then... Well, perhaps it's best at this point to rewind our tale of these three travelers. So now, a whole new chapter is about to be revealed. Get ready, everyone. Another Samurai Champloo adventure is about to begin! I can't go any farther. Three more steps and I'm gonna die. Save your energy. They're roasting a whole pig. Check out that huge porker they got going. Yes. Mugen, wait! Stop it. You're just hallucinating. Azo. Three hots in a cot! Jean, it's free food! Let's go! This is rather suspicious. Nevertheless, need knows no law.
I'm out of here. I agree. I can handle it. Come on! Where the heck are we going? I'm too cold to take another step. This blows! This is what you get when you get conned onto a ship promising you free food. You were the first one to set foot on that ship, Mugen! If something sounds too good to be true, it's likely a trap. Well, this is one serious trap, then. We've company. Huh? What's going on? Who the hell are these guys? I'm unfamiliar with this area. Well, this ain't nothing I can't handle. Foo, hide over there. Bring it on! Wonderful scent you have about you. It's redolent with blood. What the? Come on! Do you have any idea how long I've been waiting to meet a good, strong man of blood? What's going on? Ah, don't mess with me, you crazy wench! You belong to me now. So, so do as I tell you!
It's the Matsumai clan that reigns supreme over Ezo. And because of the special rights that the Matsumai have granted to foreigners, this distant land in the far north has become a champlu of a community. On any given day, you will see people of all shapes, sizes, and races strut down these streets. But there is a meager resistance brewing by the people who are oppressed by the Matsumai. They are from the old blood of this region, the native inhabitants of this ancient land. Overtaken by a much wealthier regime, the natives have been pillaged, massacred, and subjected to humiliation. They are on the verge of being driven from the sacred lands where the souls of their ancestors dwell. Thanks to their frequent guerrilla strikes and the clan's close-knit ties, only the Tsuromaki clan remains, continuing to mount a desperate defense. But the prolonged conflict has left Warso exhausted. As the current leader of the Tsurumaki clan, he can no longer conceal the fatigue that is taking over his tired body. The fate of the Tsurumaki clan, the last bastion of those of the old blood, is now like a candle in the wind. Mugen's gonna come back, right? He's okay, isn't he? For someone from the Ryukyus, this is a rather harsh climate. It's entirely possible that he froze to death. What? Are you serious? You worried? Well... He'll be fine. He'll make it. I, I know he will. I'm surprised. You've become attuned to it. Huh? His way of thinking. Gene? It's the snake venom. You won't be able to move for a while, but you'll feel better once the medicine starts working. However, it won't disappear as long as the witch keeps you within her mind. Not until you find her and kill her. Until then, don't push yourself too hard. I guess I ought to thank you. But first, who are you? Someone who loves this land. Come again? Judging from your clothes, you don't seem to be a Sisam, a Japanese. Are you from the south? A Pikata, maybe? What's it to you, anyway? There are several myths that have been passed down around here. One is about a man that comes here from a faraway land in the south. Looking at you reminded me of that story. Well, seeing how I can't move a muscle, you might as well tell it to me. I ain't got nothing but time, anyway. The disturbances we face now in the order of all creation is the work of the demons. Hero from the old blood fights a demon for an entire night and eventually slays it. When this battle over blood and land is finally through, three saviors will appear. They will be in the form of one Pikta man, a Sisam man, and a woman in search of a man who smells of sunflowers. When these elements eventually fall into place, the balance of all creation will be restored. Myths are moral lessons handed down from the past. They serve as a path for those of us living in the present to follow. Sorry, dude, but I don't get it. The past's the past, you know? That doesn't mean squat to me right now. It's very odd. For some reason, when I talk to you, I feel a little better. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I don't have sympathy or anything like that for you. I'm just surprised how tactless you are with your honesty. Uh. One more thing. You're going to have to repay your debt to me. Huh? Don't tell me what I gotta do. I need you to look after this. And what's this? 
It's my clan's most prized treasure. It would fetch a high price if you were to sell it, but if you did, I would kill you. So I suggest you take good care of it until we meet again. Don't you try and threaten me! I think you should get some rest. It's best if you stay here and sleep for a while. The witch lives in the darkest depths of the forest. I only hope you really are our savior. You didn't come to give me a wake-up call. Bad news, guys. I'm in the mood to cause a little pain. Show me what you got! What can I do for you? Okay, there you go. Thank you! Come again! Hello, come right in. This is what you want, then. Well, 
Thank you very much. Please come again.
entire force was wiped out by one single man. <laughs> it's so pathetic, it's laughable. Very well, my lively little friend. My name is Zenbanosuke Kurata. How about you cross swords with me? The name's Mugen. Tell me something before I kill you. Why do you guys want me dead? Well, I can tell just by looking at you that you're a Tengu collaborator. Tengu? Really? Are you yanking my chain? I'd say you picked a fight with the wrong man. Those who defy the Matsumai don't live long around here. Even the Tsurumaki are destined to fall. Shut your hole. I'm sick of hearing you babble. Mark my words, kid. The Black Tengu will continue to multiply. The nightmare will persist until the Tengu are killed. Will you quit yapping and just come at me already? Yeah! Prepare to taste my technique! <laughs> Zenbanosuke Zen Karata! I should have expected no less of the man who defeated our army so completely. <laughs> Come on! 
and die in the mutual. Perhaps I should have used more nectar. I'm surprised to see that you have any strength left at all. I am going to break you, and you are going to be mine. Prepare yourself! <laughs> Crap! Not again! You're going about killing this woman all wrong. Now hold on a minute. Why is a native like you interfering with this? Would you like to die as well? <laughs> Try if you think you can, but I'll make sure you don't get returned. Running will do you no good, Megan. I will come to visit you again! That's a promise! <laughs> What she said was true. You can't escape her. She will keep hounding you till the day you die. <laughs> What's up with that psycho wench? Can't you tell? She's a witch. What, am I supposed to go? Oh, okay. That makes sense now. How'd you prefer I explain it then? Would you be happier if I simply described her as a woman with a ghostly air about her and devilish powers? Would you believe me then? Nope, not even then. Well, even if I haven't convinced you, until you've gone and tracked down that woman's true physical form and killed it, you'll find it impossible to solve your current predicament. Hang in there. I've gotta go. What? Why'd you even come if you're just gonna leave? Isn't it obvious? I came here to save your neck and earn your gratitude. I'll bite the hand that feeds me. Before you do that, I need you to do one more thing for me. There are a fair number of enemies in here. Your friend is helping out, but things still don't look all that good. I'm gonna need you to deal with them. I don't think that's too much to ask. I'd better go. I'll be waiting on the top floor, waiting for you. Stop telling me what to do! Pretty good. All right, I'll take all you suckers on!
you. What the... What are you doing here? I guess I shouldn't complain. Nobody's gonna stop us here. I've no reason to refuse. You finally ready to fight me? Myths are a prediction. My good saviors, if you're going to pursue this pointless fight with each other, at least put yourselves in fate's hands. What, you again? Since you're here and all, circumstances dictate that you keep each other's company for a little while longer. Now I have a favor to ask the two of you. Huh? Speak. Tonight, the manor will burn to the ground. We've been forced to place blood and land on the scales and choose one. We chose blood. We'll head out tonight together and find another land where we can find peace. Her talk with the Ape has stopped. Huh? I don't get it. Jean, look after Nochiu. Mugen, keep the blue gem safe. Saviors, let's meet at that castle. When we do, perhaps we can all kill each other or something. Hey, have you been poisoned? <coughs> Some psycho chick's got the hots for me. Listen, don't tell you know who about this. Keep your mouth shut, no matter what. If you don't, I'll... If you need me to finish you off, I will. But, try not to die just yet. <laughs> that voice... Was that Fu? She's got lousy timing. Yes, but that may be her strongest attribute. 